Hey, um, I have a, well, I was going to say, I'm, I'm working my th way through a, a list of videos. They're, they're videos that have come in from our buyers and I, they're, they're all picking up the key videos. So this is um, the buyers. We, we figured out a really good way to get um, images, videos, all that information out onto YouTube. Uh, you know, ev almost, we, we can't do it in every single one. Almost every house we pick up the keys for it's we'll just do the buyers pick do a video as we go around and uh, they send it to me on what's happened i i have a little look at it sort of do a little pricey record some things in the camera here and then spice the two things together and um what i've just noticed is this, this is not a picking up the keys video so what a great idea the, the, the buyers are getting now getting um uh i wouldn't say getting ahead of themselves i'd love to do i'm going to encourage them but i'm not thought about it this is finished so this is an hmo finished and uh Julie's gone back and she's done a video of the thing finished. Great. <laughs> so um, instead of us, um, you know, just showing you the uh, the beginning and the middle, we're now going to be able to show you the beginning, middle, and end. As soon as I got this, it's like, Julie, that's a really good idea. Let's just keep doing those. So there we go. Uh, the code on this one, you'll be used to this now. It's 88WAR. Type in the code 88WAR. And on YouTube, you will start to see all of the uh, project updates. You know, picking up the keys. We didn't do a picking up keys on this one, so it might not work. But when you go see, they're all everything's in playlists. You can see picking up the keys, updates, project reviews. So you can go in and you can type in. The code means that you will be able to find the beginning, middle, and end. This property probably won't quite work because, but it's an end one. She's, she's picked, Julie's picked up on the end. But go to a, to almost all of the others as they all start to wash through. Depending when you're watching it, you'll see the beginning, middle, and end. If you're looking at it right at the beginning, there might not be a middle and end, but you see what I mean. 88WAR is a code and we code all of the videos for this property the same. Um, this is a five bedroom, five ensuite HMO, all finished, all singing, all dancing. Um, so a great one to look through. It's handhold property. So we put this together for a client. We found the property, fixed the property up and then we rented it out and fixing it up for an HMO office is a lot more involved. Um, fire doors, fire eggs, bigger kitchens, more en suites, different spec, you know, ni ni nicer, um, nicer is the wrong word, but more involved decoration, you know, a bit more jazzy. Uh, all of the furniture, uh, beds, bed linen, all set up, pots, pans, knives, forks, spoons, all those things in there. We organize it all. So it's completely ready to rent. We put tenants in there, then we manage it ongoing. Um, that's a good point, actually. One of the one of the questions we get asked a lot, and, and uh, yeah, I'm interested in HMOs, but how easy are they to manage? And uh, we, we uh, yeah, it's a fear that you know, handhold clients, they come to us and, you know, is it worth the hassle? Now, um, the answer is it is slightly more work, uh, but it's our work. It works out, of course, just slightly more expensive in terms of management. Is it worth it? Yes, it is. Um, the key is getting good management. We've become really adept, or the team have, at, at managing HMO properties. We shouldn't and don't spend much more time managing an HMO versus a single let on a pound to pound basis. It takes quite a lot more work, but of course you're getting quite a lot more rent in. This one will rent out for a couple of grand a month. I, I don't know. I'm got, I actually haven't got the figure on this one. Um, if it was a picking up the keys one, I would have, but I haven't got these. But it, it will rent out for decent money. Of course, there's loads more fees in there. You're paying all the bills and all those things as a landlord. But the bottom line should be healthier. Of course, you've also got more capital tied in as well. Is it worth it? Only if you get good management. And uh, for the landlords.com, are a great management team. They really, really look after the property and uh, make sure that they optimise it, get the most amount of renting, collect the rent that they're meant to get in, keep voids and uh, maintenance costs to a minimum, and also look after all the reg regulations and legislation stuff, um, you know, checks and fire and cleaning and all that stuff. So. Uh, if you want to find out more about the handhold service, there's a link in the description. Go to our website and you can see all that. But for now, I'll hand over to Julie and she'll give you a guided tour of our latest HMO project. All finished, all done. Bye for now. Hi, this is Property Reference 88WAR. This is a five bedroom, five en suite HMO, um, converted from a three bedroom mid terrace property. I paid £125,000 and the rent should achieve between £1,625 and £1,840 a month. This has been bought through our handhold service. Uh, let me give you a tour around. Thank you. This is the property from the outside, typical three bedroom terrace in this area. This is the hallway with the original flooring which we've kept and the original tiling in the hallway. 
because it's uh, there's not damage and there's no reason to get rid of it. It would have been plastered and it's been overboarded on the ceiling. Take you in room one. Room one has been furnished and has TV and obviously double beds, blinds, pictures. This is what it's going to look like as an end product. All been fire proofed on the ceiling and an ensuite has been added. Bedroom two. Again, furnished with lamps, all fire boarded up in the ceiling and an ensuite added. This is where you can have breakfast, the breakfast bar, notice board, mirrors, chairs, fridge freezers and washer dryer, inset light into the ceiling, roller blinds, everything's all been put in, all fireproofed, and the kitchen. Try and make it as attractive as we can. Boiler cupboard, bedroom three. This would have been the original bathroom, which we've converted just into a shower room for this bedroom. So it has its independent ensuite going through into the bedroom. There we go. All brand new carpeting all re-plastered, all redecorated, and a new central heating system. Bedroom four. All nicely furnished. We've got television, wardrobe space, cupboard space for storage. And again, we've added an ensuite to this bedroom. nice easy white clean walls television and obviously fire escape window bedroom five this is the biggest bedroom of them all obviously with fire escape window furniture really gone to town a little bit in this one made a nice sofa all decorated all replastered everything complete and again with ensuite this was just a little insight to what our properties look like once we've actually converted them into an hmo and uh, obviously where the work has been done you can see the quality and the finish making it a very attractive property thank you